What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, as you see here, I have a box from Advan Black sitting on my 2021 Harley Road Glide. And what's inside the box are going to be color matched mid frame deflectors. Ones that kind of just go right on top of the jug there. I'm right inside your inner seam of your paint leg. These are kind of just going to be like preference. I hear that they work tremendously in the warmer months, summer months, for keeping the, the heat from the motor off your inner thighs and just kind of radiating up your legs. I don't know. I've never ran these before. So that's something that I would have to get back to you guys on later. I'm just personally doing them because I just love the way they kind of just add a trim to the bike. And I kind of just like the way they look. So these come in relatively cheap. If you are looking for them in like black or gloss black, I believe between these guys and Hogworks, you can pretty much find them for like 50, 60 bucks if you just want black. Now, obviously, if you want them color matched like these are, it's going to jack up the price a little bit. But this from Advan Black still came in right at $99 to $100, which for just another color match piece on your bike, that kind of just adds a nice little trim. I don't think that's really that bad of a price personally. I'm sure if you went to Harley Davidson and got their color match mid frame deflector, you'd be paying a lot more than a hundred. So that is neither here nor there. So let's uh, get these unboxed and uh, see what we got to do to install them. All right, so first things first, when you go to take them out, these things are packaged very well. As you can see, they have them kind of molded right into the styrofoam mold wrapped in like uh, shrink wrap. So they come pr packaged pretty well. I'm not sure how Hogworks or anybody else packages in them, but add Van Black A plus on your packaging. So as I pull the first piece out, I don't know how well you can see that. There is a R for right side of the bike. And I'm assuming the other one obviously would have a L for left side of the bike. They're pretty self-explanatory, but if you need it, they have the side-by-side -side direction. Let me go get some microfiber so I can set these out. So as I was saying earlier, this side also has an L, so you know left side, right side. And then obviously you get a bag of parts. Um, this does not come with instructions but it should be fairly relatively easy. So I'm gonna get this unbagged and uh, just kind of take a look at everything and uh, I'll come up with how to install this. All right, so I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I have all the hardware separated. You have one of these little, uh, it's like a hex and that's where your screw will be going in or you just have like a regular clip. So this is gonna vary if you have I believe a 2017 and newer bike, um, you will not need these clips because the frame already comes with threads in it. Um, so that's what you'll be using. But if you have, like I said, like a older than 2017, I believe it is, you're gonna need to use these black clips. And I'll show you where I'm talking about here in a second. Now, regardless, your bike's gonna come, there's already like a hexed, uh, a hex type of hole on your frame so that's where these come in these you're gonna put in tighten up the put the screw in without the deflector tighten it up and then I believe this is gonna expand to take up the hole that's pretty much it you got your washers and your bolts so I'll show you what I'm talking about here so this is gonna be extremely hard to see I had to take my uh, spark plug wire out of the way here my spark plug wire was into that hole. I don't, like I said, I don't know how well you guys can see this. Right up here, there is a threaded hole. That's what we're gonna be using for the top. Like I said, if you have an older bike and don't have this thread, you're gonna use this black clip and there's gonna be a way for you to use, pop the clip on there and that's where you're gonna use it. Or up here. Without looking at one, I wouldn't really be able to tell you exactly where. but. If you have a 2017 or newer, use that threaded hole. If not, you're gonna insert your black clip somewhere in this region. Now, that hex nut that I was talking about 
if you see right down here, it's kind of hexed out. So like I said earlier, these are going to just get, you're going to put these in, drive a screw in or a bolt in. It's going to expand and lock in there. But that's where your second mounting point is going to be. And the other side is exactly the same. So I'm going to go get this in here and then uh, try to get the top in. Like I said, I had to pop out my spark plug wire just to make some room. And then the bolts that we're going to be using are going to be a an 11 millimeter. As you can see, that went like right in there. So that's part of the reason why we need to get our screw started so it expands. So as far as the air deflector goes, it looks like we're going to be using that hole. I kind of held it up in here earlier and that looks like where it's going to go about. I just want to essentially run this bolt into that hole that's in the frame just because obviously it's been a while, miles, washing, it's going to get rusted or calcium built up or rust in the hole. So just want to make sure the threads are good before I try to get the part on here and find out it doesn't want to start. So that appears to be good. And it actually looks like there's a clip up here for the spark plug wire. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that zip tie right off. That should at least give me a little bit more working room. Tuck that out the way for right now. Get it started by a finger just to make sure it holds it in place but leave it loose so I can get the bottom started. Now that those are in I can go ahead and tighten them up and then it is also good to know that this is only plastic so you don't want to go too crazy. So using kind of like an angle wrench I was able to get into the top no problem. So the only thing that is left to do on this side is kind of just take the lower spark plug wire, plug it back into the hole, and then the other one clip onto that clip. So you guys couldn't see that too well because my head had to be jammed in there um, to get everything started. That's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good if you ask me. So let's hop onto the other side and get the other side done. Okay, so over here on the other side, as you can see, there is the threaded screw up there. So I'm going to have to pop both of these spark plug wires off again. And then right down there by the primary is the other hex hole. I'll just go ahead, throw the other hex hole in right away. You want to be careful not to drop that because it's going to go down there somewhere by your belt and primary. And uh, I'm sure that's not going to be the most fun in the world to try to get back out. Just like the other side, I'm going to get this one started, put some pressure on it so it expands. Might be able to just get away with that one. Obviously this one only has two holes, so that's what we're going to be using. Real quick, before I do that, I wanted to make sure this hole is working up here, as it appears to be. Oh, real quick again. Let me just cut the zip tie off because this one also has a little clip that we can use. That way it doesn't bust up my knuckles. Just like the other side, once you get them both kind of finger tight, go ahead and snug them up. All right, guys, so I just got done wiping these off so you can kind of get a good look at them, what they look like up close. Kind of just follows the frame line right down there my stool out of the way you can kind of get a good idea of what they look like looks pretty good if you ask me let's go check out the other side and there's the other side so I think it's a nice little touch like I said these things are very uh, inexpensive if you have black, they're like 60 bucks. If you got them color matched like I did, they're right around 100. So it's not really breaking the bank, but I think it looks pretty damn good. Adds a nice little look to the bike.
drop a comment down below if you guys are a fan of the mid-frame deflectors. And uh, let me know what you guys run. Do you have the Harley ones, Advan Black, Hogworks? Let me know down below. Let me know how well they hold up. The only other thing that I have to say is um, it's a super easy install. But because of the location of where you have to get bolts and uh, stuff like that, um, if you have fat hands or fat fingers, um, it's going to be a little bit of, of a uh, pita for you guys, pain in the ass, because um, it was still a pain in the ass for me, and I don't really have big fingers or big hands. Um, just kind of reaching in there and getting the appropriate tools um, that can tighten everything up because, like I said, the location of them, the tools that worked for the right side didn't work for the left side, and vice versa. Not really a big deal. Adapt and overcome. But it's also worth noting, it only took 15 minutes, if that. So, And that was me recording as well, which adds some time. So, yeah, overall, I'm happy with the way they came out. Um, I think it adds a nice little touch to the bike. Um, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I got them all cleaned off. They are good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, leave a comment down below. But nonetheless, I'm very happy with them. The quality of them looks very good. The paint looks pretty damn good. Close of a match as you can get. So if you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button, comment, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon if you made it this far. So that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. Make sure to ride safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.